So what's going on y'all? So I have a revelation coming from Holy Spirit. This revelation is coming from 1 Chronicles chapter 16 verses 1 through 7. Okay? 1 through 25. They brought in the ark of God and set it within the tent which David had pitched for it. Then they offered up holocaust and peace offerings to God. When David had finished offering up the holocaust and peace offerings, he blessed the people in the name of the Lord and distributed to every Israelite, to every man and to every woman, a loaf of bread, a piece of meat, and a raisin cake. Now I'm going to skip down to verse 7. On that same day, David appointed Asaph and his brethren to sing for the first time these praises of the Lord. So this is the revelation that the Father gave me through this scripture. The Father is going to relocate you to a temporary place of dwelling. The same day, a man will be appointed to a new position. And he will respond to the Lord, saying, Give thanks to the Lord. Invoke his name. Make known among the nations his deeds. Sing to him. Sing his praises, proclaim all his wondrous deeds. Glory is all is his holy name. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Recall the wondrous deeds that he has wrought, his portents and the judgments he has uttered. You descendants of Israel, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones. He, the Lord, is our God throughout the earth. His judgments prevail. He remembers forever his covenant, which he made binding for a thousand generations, which he entered into with Abraham and by his oath to Isaac, which, is, which he established for Jacob by statute, for Israel as an everlasting covenant, saying to you, will I give the land of Canaan as your allotted inheritance. When they were few in number, a handful and strangers there, wandering from nation to nation, from one kingdom to another people, from one kingdom to another people, he let no one oppress them. And for their sake, he rebuked the kings, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. Sing to the Lord all the, all the earth, Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations, among all the peoples, his wondrous deeds. For great is our Lord and highly to be praised. And awesome is he beyond all gods. So the revelation that Holy Spirit gave me through this is there is a man that he is about to appoint to a new position. And this new position is... This new position is husband man. Okay? This new position is husband man. And you will receive this husband when you are relocated to your temporary dwelling place. It is when you are relocated that this man will be appointed to this position, to husband man. And he is going to respond to the Lord by singing praises. Okay? And verses 8 through 25 is what I just read to you. The Father wants you to know that this is the covenant that is he rem that he is that is going to be binding forever this is the covenant that he remembers okay it says in verse 15 he remembers forever his covenant which he made binding for generations which he entered into with abraham and by his oath to isaac which he established for jacob by statue for israel an everlasting covenant saying to you 
will I give a land of Canaan as your allotted inheritance. This place, this where the father is taking you to, is going to be the place where you meet your husband man. And this is the chosen son of God. Okay, this is going to be your everlasting binding covenant. This is going to be where you receive your allotted inheritance. This is who you will receive it with. Okay, and it says, saying to you, I will give you a land of Canaan as your allotted inheritance. When you two get together, you will receive your inheritance. Okay, it says, when they were few in number, a handful and strangers were there. Okay, so you may move to a place where you don't know anyone. And you it may be a handful of people, 555, okay? I don't know if it's just a handful of poop, um, people um, where you will be or if a handful of people, meaning just the family that will be relocating, but you will be relocating to a place where you don't know anyone. There will be strangers, okay? Wandering from nation to nation, from the kingdom to another people. So this may even be someone who is um, a different, comes from a different background from you, a different ethnic background, okay? Um, and the father says he will let no one oppress you. Okay, and for they, for their sake, he rebuked kings. Touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. The father says when you two come together, he will let no one control what takes place when you two comes together. For your sake, he will rebuke kings, thus says the Lord. This is something that the father is bringing together. And the father says, touch not my anointed, do my prophets no harm. Seven eleven. Okay, so know that this union will be protected because this is something that's from the Father. So this move, this this person, um, it's coming. Okay, just know that it's coming. And the number, the Father gave me the number. And the reason why this man is going to praise God the way he is going to praise God. And the reason why um, the father is going to do what he is going to do is simply to show you how good he is. That's the only reason. Because he wants to show you how good he is. He wants to show you how good of a father he is. That's why he's going to give you this man who is going to respond to him. And when he responds to this man, he's going to give this man a position. And this man is going to respond to him by this. He's going to give this man a position as husband man in your life, right? And this man is going to respond to this position by singing praises to the father, by singing praises to the Lord. Okay. Um, I remember in a previous message, the father said that this man is going to love you for who you are. Okay. He is going to love you simply for who you are. And the father just wants to show you how good he really is, that he is going to give. This is why he's giving you this man. This is why you are receiving this inheritance. And this is why you will be relocating. OK, and so the father gave me the number 429. And what's attached to the number 429 is I find by seeking out, discover to find out. OK, Matthew 2 and 2. Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We, we saw the star as it rose and we have come to worship him. The father is saying, seek him. Seek him to find out if this word is for you. Take this word back to the father. I find by seeking out, discover, to find out. The father says to find out if this word is for you, to discover if this word is for you. If you are looking to see if this word is for you, then seek him first. Okay, seek ye first 
the kingdom of heaven and the rest will be added to you. The father says, take this message, bring this message back to him and see if it is for you. It is for somebody because I experienced heavy warfare just now um, given this message. So I know that it is for someone. The father may not want you to receive the father. There is someone who may not want you to receive this message because of the warfare that I just experienced while trying to deliver this message. But the father says, take this message back to him to find out if it is for you, to find out if this is the king. OK, if this is the man, if this is the star that rose, OK, for you. OK, find out if this is his purpose. If you are his purpose. OK, find out if this is the right star, if this is your star. OK, if you are his purpose. The father says, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and the word, the rest will be added to you. So seek ye first the father to see if this is your word. And if it is this man, this his purpose, it will be added to you. OK, that's the message. Peace.